Today's video sponsor is GVG More, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. So if you're like me and you've been across several generations of CPUs and GPUs, you know that there are those moments where we actually have some bullshit marketing, both from AMD, Nvidia and Intel. And with a recent statement from Dr. Lisa Su on the quarter two earnings call, I don't really know if this is a really, really exciting moment or if it is just bullshit marketing from AMD. As stated by Dr. Lisa Su, in gaming graphics we expanded our Radeon 7000 GPU series in the second quarter with the launch of our mainstream RX 7600 cards for 1080p. We are on the track to further expand our RDNA 3 GPU offerings with the launch of new enthusiast class Radeon 7000 series cards in the end of the third quarter. Now in the head of every normal person, enthusiast level means Enthusiast level, so the top tier cards like the RTX 4090 and below that the 4080, the, the 7900XTX, uh, then we have the top tier cards, let's say like the should be the 7800X XT or in this case 7900XT, then we have for example the 4070 Ti, 4070 and so on, then we start going to the mid tier cards, okay? That's how it works, that's how it usually works. And the first time I saw these news, I actually thought to myself, yes, finally, the RX 7950 XT and 7950 XTX are coming. Maybe revision, revisioned, yes, yes. Yeah. revisioned versions of the, the 7900 series with maybe not so many bugs in terms of hardware, even in terms of hardware, uh, improved software and so on. Maybe with faster VRAM, uh, maybe with lower inner latencies, maybe I don't really know. But... Maybe that's not the case. And that's because according to AMD's bullshit marketing team, the Radeon RX 7900 series is the only ultra-enthusiast graphics card that supports DisplayPort 2.1 and USB-C. So basically, they consider the, the XTX card an ultra-enthusiast card. While maybe the 7900 XT is just enthusiast, although it is within 10-15% to 15 difference from the XTX. I mean... Well, they consider it ultra enthusiast, so what's actually the, the 4090 that is faster, considerably faster, maybe super ultra enthusiast? That really makes no sense, but it is what it is. <laughs> My point is, if they consider the XTX as an ultra enthusiast, then maybe the 7900 XT should be ultra enthusiast as well, or maybe enthusiast. And then the recently launched 7900 GRE maybe should be, let's say, top tier, uh, alongside the 7800 XT, let's call it that, uh, and the 7800 at max, and anything below that should be mid-tier, um, mid-high tier, up, or uh, th let's say down to the 7600 XT, that should be mid-low tier, uh, alongside the 7600. I do hope indeed that we're talking about the 7950 XT and the 7950 XTX, because if the rum the rumors, <laughs> the rumors, if the rumors that we had before uh, are actually true, and AMD did have that performance, that performance target, that not the target, they achieved that performance target that they that they presented results with. So it means that the um, that the performance was in fact true, but if the rumors are true, it, they have kind of a bug uh, that will lead the, the GPU to, to present artifacts after some time of usage, uh, and it seems it is an hardware bug. So they had to use software to kind of mitigate it, but using that same software to mitigate it and make the card work properly actually decreased the performance by a considerable amount. So if they actually fix that hardware side of, for example, on the 7950 series, uh, it could mean, and maybe higher VRAM frequencies, it could maybe mean that we would be seeing, let's say, 10 to 15% more performance, or sometimes even more than that, but at least 10 to 15% more performance over the current generation cards, over the current 7900 series, which would make, for example, the XTX 
alongside the 4090 more or less and the 7900 XT on the same level as the 4080 as it should be from the beginning and this could could actually mean a uh, better ray tracing performance as well uh, since ray tracing seems to be one of the most handicapped uh, things by these well these bugs at least from the performance charts that AMD showed in the beginning where for example the XTX would be on par with the 4080 in terms of ray tracing in Cyberpunk 2077 4k ray tracing while we all know that it isn't even close but well let me know what you think about this if these cards uh, are actually the 7950 series if these cards are actually the the yet to be launched 7800 and 7700 which in my opinion makes no sense because they are not enthusiast level by any means they are like mid-tier top tier at most um, or maybe if this is just one of AMD's bullshit marketing, um, like the ones from NVIDIA where they like to test everything with the LSS3 to make the performance seem better versus the previous generation that does not have the LSS3. Uh, just let me know because if this is one of AMD's marketing bullshit tactics and they are just showing the 7700 and 7800 as enthusiast level, this is a new rock bottom. This is a new low for AMD uh, and a new low for Dr. Lisa Su. I really hope that's not the case and I really do hope that they're bringing the 7950 XT and the 7950 uh, XTX in order to bring more competitivity in between AMD and Nvidia as they definitely need it in terms of top tier. And even more on the mid tier because they're using the overstocked RX 6000 series uh, in order to sell or at least in order to, to fight the, um, the mid-tier to low-tier NVIDIA counterparts because the only lower-tier counterpart that they have is the RX 7600 while NVIDIA has the 4060, 4060 Ti, 4070, 4070 Ti and 4080. The MD has cards to, com to kind of compare to the 4080. Uh, they do have cards to compare to the 4070 Ti slightly faster but they do not have cards to compare for example with, uh, with the 4060 Ti and 4060. Well, they have the 7600 but they don't have as many features, they don't have the LSS3 and so on. Still, what I mean with this is that AMD is still behind because they don't show as many features uh, for around the same value, they don't show the same ray tracing performance, they do bring you more raw power in terms of the 7900 series and I do hope to see those cards getting even better and of course I do hope to see the 7700 and 7800 cards very very soon. But that's just me. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video and as always leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about this topic because new cards coming, the 7950 series coming or AMD's bullshit marketing with the 7700 and 7800, calling them enthusiast level. Well, I guess we'll find out soon. See you in the next video guys.